So my wife, bless her soul, <laughs> has a habit of uh, sitting her wine glass on the armrest of the sofa when she's watching TV. And about the middle of last year, I asked her if she'd like me to make her a small side table. And instantly she replied, no. No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> so I just forgot about it. Then just before Christmas, I decided to go ahead and make it anyway. Um, and then sometime later, she asked me what I was doing in the shed. And when I told her, she said, great. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> As you can see by the size of the top, it's quite a small table, but um, it's fit for purpose. In fact, it's probably a little bit bigger than it needs to be. And uh, a side benefit is that I can get the whole thing from one board. It's a very simple design with only four parts and I took a little inspiration from something that I knocked up around the turn of the century. This little table was just an experiment, but it's still around and we've been using it as a pot plant holder, but the plant died and now it's just sitting there looking sorry for itself. Using that little table as a starting point revealed just how static that design is and uh, I wanted something more dynamic so I put the leg on an angle um, simulating forward motion but just doing that leaves the table unbalanced with the top being front heavy and the leg sticking out the back. So I moved the contact point between the leg and the top inwards bringing the back of the leg within the area of the top uh, and I ended up with this um, simple design.
synthetic, isn't it? <laughs> the thing about these carving discs is that they're great for hogging out heaps of material, but useless if you want a smooth finish. Um, I've run a hand plane down the edge here, but the rest of it's got a gentle curve. And uh, what I have to do is just um, whittle away carefully until I get the desired height and uh, smoothness to the whole thing. So that's come up about where I want it. That's really nice, nice and smooth. It's flat and uh, I could almost say that's finished except for one little detail. On the other side here, uh, when I was using one of those carving discs, I actually overshot the mark a little bit and took a chunk out of the front here. And the front was pretty much the thickness that I wanted it to be. So that's about two millimetres deep I'd say, which means to get rid of that I have to take two millimetres off here and if I take two millimetres off here <laughs> I've got to go right around the whole lot and take two mil off all of it. Um, that was an unfortunate mistake but you've got to do what you've got to do. So I'll finish up this side and attack this and see what I have to do with the rest of it. Now you may be wondering well this is the underside of the top, so no one's ever going to see it. I mean, this is going to be so low that um, even when you're sitting in the sofa, you're not going to be able to see underneath it. Um, and probably no one's ever going to see underneath this, but uh, we know it's there, don't we? <laughs>